Ever wondered how plants get their energy? Well, they have a secret superpower called photosynthesis. This is the incredible process where plants transform sunlight, water and carbon dioxide into food, a vital mechanism for their survival and indeed, for all life on Earth. Intriguing, isn't it? But how does this process really work? Stick around to find out. Imagine being able to prepare your own food just by basking in the sunlight. That's exactly what plants do. The magic ingredient here is chlorophyll, a pigment found in plant cells. It's like nature's solar panel, trapping sunlight to kickstart the process of photosynthesis. This is the first step of an incredible journey, where sunlight becomes the energy that powers life. So the sun's energy is trapped, but what happens next? Let's dive in. So, we've got sunlight, but that's not enough. Plants need two more ingredients, water and carbon dioxide. You see, in the grand kitchen of photosynthesis, water and carbon dioxide play a crucial role. They're like flour and sugar in your favorite cake recipe. When sunlight, our master chef, steps in, it combines these ingredients to whip up glucose, the food plants crave. But that's not all. This process also gifts us oxygen, the breath of life. It's a simple recipe, sunlight plus water plus carbon dioxide equals food and oxygen. But why does this matter to us? Photosynthesis isn't just a neat trick plants can do, it's vital for life on Earth. You see, this process is like a grand, nature-made oxygen factory. It's the primary source of breathable oxygen for all animals, including us humans. Without it, we simply wouldn't be able to survive. But that's not all. Photosynthesis also produces glucose. This sweet compound is not just a sugary treat for plants, but it forms the very base of our food chain. From the smallest insects to the largest mammals, we all depend on it for sustenance. So, the next time you sit in the sun, remember, you're witnessing a crucial process that keeps our world alive and breathing. Isn't the power of nature truly fascinating?